I've, I've lost him. I don't know what. Dr. Watson? Yeah. It's for you. OK, thanks. Uh, no, sir. The helicopter. Please, Mr. Holmes, where you're going, you'll want to be dressed. You wearing any pants? No. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Back in your palace. I'm, <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm seriously fighting an impulse to steal an ashtray. <laughs> Seriously, what? I don't know. Here to see the Queen? Oh, apparently, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just once, <clears throat> can you two behave like grown ups? We solve crimes, I blog about it, and he forgets his pants, so I wouldn't hold out too much hope. I was in the middle of a case, Mycroft. Thought the hiker and the backfire. I glanced at the police report, a bit obvious, surely. Transparent. Time to move on, then. <clears throat> We are in Buckingham Palace, the very heart of the British nation. Sherlock Holmes, put your trousers on. What for? Your client. And my client is? Illustrious, in the extreme. And remaining, I have to inform you, entirely anonymous. Mycroft. Harry, may I just apologise to the state of my little brother? Full-time occupation, I imagine. And this must be Dr. John Watson, formerly of the 5th Northumberland Fusiliers. Hello, yes. My employer is a tremendous fan of your blog. Your employer? I particularly enjoy the one about the aluminium crutch. Thank you. <clears throat> and Mr. Holmes the Younger. You look taller in your photographs. Take the precaution of a good coat and a short friend. Mycroft, I don't do anonymous clients. I'm used to mystery at one end of my cases. Both ends is too much work. Good morning. This is a matter of national importance. Grow up. Get off my sheet. Or what? Oh, I'll just walk away. I'll let you. Boys, please, not here. Who is my client? Take a look at where you're standing.